Hello and Hi. welcome to the In Conversation. My name is Phil Jackman and I lead on Cyber North, Dynamo Northeast Cyber Security Cluster. Each week I'm talking to people in the Northeast Cyber Security industry. Today I'm joined by Zach Anucha from CGI, a company that's fairly new to me. So, hi, Zach, how are you? Hello, Phil. I'm okay. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing very good in these strange times. Thank you for asking. It's uh, all a bit strange. So, I believe the two of us uh, first met at Cyberfest on Teesside, that must have been, I think, last year. Uh, can you start with telling us a bit about yourself and CGI? Yes, Phil. You, we did meet during the Cyberfest last year. Uh, that was my first attendance of the Cyberfest events that is organized by yourselves. Uh, since moving from Bracknell in Berkshire, about myself, yes, I'm a lead security consultant at CGI. I've been with CGI for nearly five years now. Um, I have nearly 22 years of experience in IT network and IT systems uh, engineering, IT infrastructure and security. IT security, because it's usually called IT security, then you moved on to information security and then cyber security. Um, outside of work, um, I mentor people who are interested in cyber security career. And I also founded the ISC squared Thames Valley chapter. Um, and was the president of it for the first four years before I moved up north and left it to, for others to run. <laughs> so have you turned um, it? It's thriving very well. It must and, be, I'm um, even a member of it. Yeah, I, I have taken um, speaking appointments from different places when I lived in Bracknell. Um, including the Royal Holloway University of London, which was in Egan. Um, I'm a father of four, four girls and uh, husband to a wife, not two yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in, I am involved in Christian uh, church leadership in the Southern Adventist Church. And I'm also a counselor in the Pathfinder Club. Now about CGI. CGI was founded in 1976, and it's among the largest uh, IT consulting services firms in the world. And it operates in a number of, uh, in hundreds of locations across the globe and delivers end-to-end -end services and solutions. Uh, that includes strategic IT consulting and systems integration, uh, intellectual property, and managed IT and business process services. In terms of number of staff, it's up to 78,000 uh, consultants and professionals who work side by side in clients in around uh, 10 industries across uh, 400 locations worldwide and we also have yeah we also have about um, 5,500 end-to-end services clients globally and 50,000 clients through the uh, 170 plus intellectual property based solutions so pretty good. Um, in terms of yeah. revenue, uh, during the last uh, financial year, the revenue was in Canadian dollar, 12.1 billion. And for the strategic UK uh, business unit, we're about 6,000 strong uh, professional providing services in different sectors within the UK economy. So that's me and CGI. <laughs> Excellent. So, is it a new company to the Northeast, or have I just been missing out? No, it's not new uh, in the Northeast, but it's only in the last two years that we have had specific strategic focus 
on the north of England. And um, with offices opened in Liverpool and Manchester since uh, 2018, and the northeast is now in next on list of to do for us. Um, we have a number of utility clients based in the northeast, such as Northumbria Water, NG, Northern Power Grid, and Morrison Utility Services, just to name a few. And we are also looking to grow across all the sectors in which we operate, including uh, manufacturing, finance, healthcare, central and local government, retail and consumer, as well as oil and gas. Those are key areas for us. Yeah, okay. So you must have some really exciting plans. Is there, is there anything specific you're focused on in the region? Um, yes, exactly. Uh, we are currently working with a number of prospects and partners in the northeast um, to put our business plan and development plan into action. We are also working with yourselves, Dynamo, um, focusing on a number of clusters and including cybersecurity, which is the area I work in. And you probably know that just two days ago, um, CGI being proud to sponsor the OAS Newcastle chapter, I made a presentation um, at the May event which took place about two days ago on the role of CGI in the national smart metering program and the security and privacy aspect of it. I think it went well. Yeah, yes, I heard it went very well, it went very well. Okay, so Tim, how is CGI, it, 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 such a big company, how's that coping during the lockdown? Uh, my, my verdict is that we've done very well. CGI is coping very well, in my, in my opinion. Um, all of CGI's staff, 6,000 strong in the UK are working from home, except for a couple of hundreds who work as key workers in the military, MOD, and other secure government projects, as well as projects classified as critical national infrastructure. So we've been very busy. Yes, I bet, I bet. And how are your customers uh, coping? What sort of issues are they facing right now? Um, in terms of customers, uh, the COVID-19 affected every business, including our customers. Uh, the issues organizations face right now include the impact on the demand for their services, impact on the supply chain, and being able to adapt quickly, for example, enabling their staff to work from home so as to continue to deliver their services probably at reduced service levels. Uh, they're also facing the challenge of supporting their staff as they confront the challenges that we now experience working from home. You have to balance between the home responsibilities and work responsibilities and how to maintain the quality of service even while working from home. Um, some organizations uh, may also be looking to how they take forward anything they have observed uh, that has worked well for them uh, in the future. Yeah, I think there's been some interesting uh, issues with the energy companies in the lack of demand and having to throttle back on wind power, for example. That's right. Yeah. So, are, are there been any specific cyber cyber issues, cyber security issues that you've had to deal with, but, uh, in general? Yeah, in general. Um, in terms of that, we have identified emerging fraud scheme, which begins with an email from attacker claiming to have hacked your system and obtained compromising information, and also threatening to. Uh, share that to your co-workers and uh, friends unless you pay some ransom. It may be something they will claim of something sexual in nature. And following that, um, there is also issues relating to people working 
from home using online remote working applications. Uh, there have been issues noted that uh, bad guys could eavesdrop into the meeting and therefore customers are being warned and um, told to ensure that they authenticate anybody who is connecting to their meeting to make sure it is genuine. And also these days, uh, most people working from home, it's time for us, all the companies to realize the benefits of the training in security awareness. So organizations are encouraging their staff to observe and be vigilant, making use of the uh, uh, what they learn about um, acceptable use policy. So yeah, it's been busy. That's excellent. That's a, I think that's a very good point about the training on cybersecurity and, and uh, being aware of things. So what's, what's your personal focus at the moment? What are you up to? Um, my personal focus, um, I've been working from home and um, I work in a telco industry. And um, my focus is as the security manager of the project. Everything project, penetration testing, um, going through uh, security assurance of the um, architecture for changes and architecture for other deliveries. And those things are very interesting things that I work on. Excellent, excellent, that does sound, sound interesting. Okay, my final question then, uh, Zach, is what's the first thing you're gonna do as soon as lockdown is over? Are you, do you mean CGI or me? Because I've, I've planned you, my answer as uh, CGI. <laughs> no, you personally. What are you, okay. you going to do? Myself, what I'm going to do is, it's going to be a relief, really. And luckily, I'm classified as a key worker. So once our clients are willing to take us on, um, I'll be willing to drive 22 miles to my client site to see my colleagues there. Hopefully a few of us will be gathered there and uh, we will enjoy the freedom of being out of lockdown. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, so well, thanks very much for that, Zach. It, uh, I'd like to thank you very much. I'd like to thank Robert also, who's helped me to set up these in conversations. We're gonna run these throughout the summer, and so look out for the next now series. And if you're interested in taking a part, please get in touch. Thanks once again, Thank Zach. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. That was In Conversation with Phil Jackman, lead for Cyber North. Audio and video production was by me, Robert Campbell. This was a Team Fans production for Dynamo Northeast. <laughs>